Eric Mwag at Mwag.com at the market open for February 7th, 2018. Let's take a look at markets here. Let's recall that the market is trading here with the VIX still trading in the higher 20s, which means that the market is very sensitive, very sensitive to smaller time frames. So intraday direction is going to be determined on whether we can hold above this line or not. As we have been seeing in the last couple of videos, this was the break of the recent highs. And back below, and here we are again. So either we hold above the, the red line and we can move higher or we weave ourselves back below the line and we start seeing this market really pull back based on the value of the VIX. And remember the VIX as we established is more accurately described in my opinion as a measure of timing difficulty. So the higher the VIX, the more it is very difficult to time intraday swings. So let's take a look at some of the other things we can consider short term, knowing that the market is very sensitive to all these considerations. As we know, a high VIX means a high degree of difficulty. Pretty much it means everybody. In other words, the bears and the bulls are pretty much being smacked around by the market. Lots of timing mistakes are taking place because of the value of the VIX high volatility, high difficulty. But if you take a look at this line here, this was the break of the highs there, current all-time highs on the NASDAQ futures. We come here and we show a rejection on the same line, somewhere around that high right there. And we tagged this yesterday, right there, which is the top, and double top here, early in the morning and we are seeing as of this morning here we've been unable to move above the blue line let me show you something else if you take a look at the S&P 500 you'll see that there was a line here and after I talked about this line a couple of weeks ago this was the entry here short term we bounced on this line which was that hourly low before we bounce we did try to hold above the line here but we failed and once we failed we can see that the market did pull back significantly so I would argue that pretty much what we are doing here is we are coming back to test the break and so this area here resistance on this blue line around here keep in mind this level so happens to be, interestingly enough, at about the 38.2 level. If you take a look at the 5 minute chart, actually I think this is more telling of what is going on and the reason why I think the 5 minute chart is more telling is because we have a very high VIX which means the smaller time frames are more controlling. We broke down here of the intraday highs and since then the market's been coming back to this level and every time we see re rejection on this ensuing line our uniformity resistance line we know the market's been pulling back resistance here off the highs there we get a pullback triple top here off this highs there we get a massive pullback and now here we are testing the same level so I think if I was to refresh this chart, you'll see that now it is pointing down on the five minute time frame. Looks like a triple top 
So obviously, as long as this is the case, you have to play this from the short side, understanding that you're going to get the possibility of a very big move. We're talking about, in my opinion and estimation, hundreds of points lower, as long as this is still showing resistance on this line. And of course, with the understanding that if we break out above this well-defined line, a breakout above this well-defined line could actually lead to a gain of hundreds of points because of the value of the volatility index. So that's my two cents, by the way. See what the markets are doing here. And one more final thought. As we come off the highs is if you take a look at this hourly chart for the NASDAQ, it seems to be top side resistance if you draw it like that. You can see right now the challenge for the NASDAQ and I'm pretty much sure by extension the other major averages, the Dow and the S&P is that the more we show resistance here on the hourly chart, the more we are going to have to contend with the movement to the downside. So one is to be very careful. Tread small if you have to. The best thing to do in, in this type of market environment, honestly, if you can, is stay out of it until things settle down. Otherwise, we can continue watching the five-minute window and see whether we move above this line. If we can move above this line, that's good short term for intraday bulls. If we continue seeing resistance on this line, that's good for intraday bears. And we can see also here that this red line, as I spoke before, happens to be at about the 61.8 level on the five minute chart here, the RSI setting at 26, just in case it looks a little bit different from yours. So as long as we continue seeing this re resistance here, we have to assume that net net, the market would have to clear that line before it can go higher. And as I always like to do, let me end the video with a snapshot of what the market is doing. Eric Mwadith, 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 Mwadith,